Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about nested functions or nested methods in Python. In the previous video, we talked about functions or subprograms or methods, all are same. See, the purpose of function is to increase the readability increase the modularity, increase the maintainability of the code. Now, when I say nested functions, yes, it's a next step of the functions. There are some cases where you may need to repeat the same code multiple times within the function. So that time I'm going to declare a one more function within the function then I can call that function whenever it is required. So let us take, so there is a, <coughs> I'm already dividing my main program into multiple functions. Even though, even after dividing that, I need to divide some more that is called as a nested functions. So this is a function has been started. Let us say this is a very, this entire window is a, very big page or very big uh, program. So inside that, so I will be writing a one function starting from here to here. Let's assume it. So this is a function one. This is function two. Assume it. It's not a horizontal way, but it's vertical way. It will be there, but I'm just uh, explaining you in, um, in a horizontal way. Now this is a, I divided, even though it's a very big program, I divided into three functions, even though in a particular function F1, I need to, I have a couple of statements repeating here. It is repeating like a three lines or 10 lines is repeating here. Maybe again in the next, uh, some after some here, again, it is repeating same uh, five lines after that again, at the end also it is repeating. Let's assume it same again. It is repeating. So let's take some more time. It is repeating here also same five lines. So now again, it is, it is redundant code. We have in the same function four times we have four into five, 20 lines of code we have in a same function. So that time what I do is, so I'm going to declare, I'm going to declare a function like a um, uh, sub F1, make it the name I'm giving the name. Okay. And I'll keep these five lines in the sub F1 and I'll call here. I'll call here and I'll call here and I'll call here and I'll call here. See, rather than having that redundant code in a single function. So I'm, I'm declaring a new sub function and I'm calling wherever it is required. I'm invoking wherever it is required. So this is called as a, this is called as a nested function because this SF one is defined inside the F one. This is outer boundary of a program actually. Okay. So now SF1 is called as a nested function inside the main function F1. Similarly, if you have SF2 here in the F2 function, this is called as a nested function in F2. Here you have F SF3, then you can call nested function in main function F3. If you have only direct functions, individual function, then we won't be calling as a nested methods or nested functions. But if you have a scenario, then better to go for a nested functions. So let me show you practically how to implement, how to do one or two examples on it. I am writing one of the basic uh, stuff here just to explain in a detailed way for you. So let me quickly go to the Python IDLE. <coughs> this is the Python IDLE. Hope you know that let's open a module or file. So let's uh, save this because even it, it asks for the save afterwards also, if I do not uh, save now. Nested. Okay. So here, this is the place where I am writing my code. So slowly I'll, I'll be moving into Jupiter or spider, maybe in, in couple of days. So maybe more or less, you don't feel that much difference. Okay. So whatever we are doing maximum, you can do the same thing in the Jupiter or uh, spider, but, but you will get some more flexibility than here, but still yes, I, I feel comfortable either Jupiter or uh, this uh, Python default wind IDLE or spider because I'm, I'm very familiar with all these three windows. 
I have all these three softwares uh, in my uh, PC. Now let's let's define. Let's come back and let's define a function. So I'm I'm defining a function out first main function. Let us say main. So main um, main function. So I'm defining main function. So let's define a comma b. R number one comma number two something whatever the one you want. <coughs> a comma b. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, print. I'm going just to say that. I am in the outer function, or I am in the main function. In main function, sorry, okay, yeah, this is the print one. So then I am going to declare sub function or nested function. Okay, uh, I am going to make it as a sub or uh, nested. I will make it as nested to become familiar that name. Nested underscore function. Let's do that. So here, a and b already defined at the top. So I can directly use it. A comma b here again. Okay. So I can take that. Okay. So R. I I, I let me make it as a um, x comma y. I'll tell you why I'm taking this. I'll tell you that. Okay. Now let's print one more message. Print in a nested function. Yes, nested. Nested function. So okay. So let's space it. Let's king this. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Done. So I'm just printing it just for our understanding purpose. Then next one is so. I'm I'm going to print our uh, some simple message. Print uh, um, sum of uh, two numbers. Sum of numbers or two numbers, whatever it is. Numbers comma x comma y comma is comma x plus Okay, so the I I simply I kept a one message along with some normal calculation. So nothing. So now this function is done. Okay, I'm done with a, a nested function, and uh, now so I don't want to invoke it. Let's uh, leave that now. I declared it, and let's now invoke the first uh, main function. So main function of uh, if you understand very clearly, I am not I did not invoke anywhere. nested function so main of uh, so 20 comma 40 if you understand very clearly here so whenever i call the main whenever i invoke the main function see this will be called after that so this will be called it displays the message and it it tries to execute this but i did not invoke anywhere so that's the reason why it simply compiles and keep quiet okay let me show you so what message you will get it you can understand let's click on f5 Do you see this? You got only in main function. Even though you have two print statements in the nested function, so because you do not invoke anywhere, so this method doesn't execute. It simply compiled and kept quiet. Okay. Now, so why I why why should I call it? See, you declare hundred functions until and unless you invoke it, that won't be get executed. So to invoke that, you can directly call. This is the sub function. This is the main. Now you can invoke like this with the name nested of. Not exactly here. Not here. Yes, yes. Nested of a comma b. Now, if you understand very clearly, you will get all the stuff. You see this? I am in the main function. Let us show me the. Let me show you the picture. This one is displayed. Next one, because of this invokeness, so this one is executed in nested function. Then sum of two numbers, twenty comma forty is twenty and forty is sixty. Let's for let's uh, send like a fifty. You know that what kind of output I'm 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 able to I'm getting. Still, still I want to show you that. So I'm in a so. Main function, 
nested function sum of two numbers is 70 so hope you understand here so why the inner function is did not execute for the first time why because it was not invoked earlier so if you if you remove that invoke uh, then this piece of code won't get execute so that's how my nested function works so hope you understand Ho oh, and hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions in python so you can drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates thank you thank you for watching